Well, we still have pools of water in some of those fields with all the rain that we've seen so far this year in the spring and summer and now for October. Let's talk averages 51.3 is our average temperature. That's a little bit above normal, but we've already picked up 3.28 inches of rain so far this middle part of the month, and that's over two inches uh, more than what we expect. As far as rain and melted snow for the year, 41.96 inches, and that brings us to the wettest year we've had on record. Now notice how that second spot was just last year, but if you compare it to this time, uh, 35.78 was where we were on this date last year. We're already at the 41.96 inch mark. So we have two and a half months yet to go. I wonder where that uh, number does push to by the end of the year. So this is the current pattern as we go through the week ahead. We have a jet stream dipping down over the Rockies and then coming back up the Midwest. And what that typically brings is a cooler weather pattern and it does bring in a lot of moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico. So that means uh, cooler weather pushing it from Canada and more rain possibilities as we go through the next 10 days and our GFS models we run this out bring in about an, on average about an inch of rain in Green Bay and parts of northeast Wisconsin. When we zoom out though and show you the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center it does look like above normal uh, rain amounts will be kind of situated over the eastern coast. We have a couple systems going through here that will deliver rain it looks like Monday into Tuesday and possibly midweek again, and that will be pushing more, most of that rain over to the East Coast. While below normal conditions will actually finally start arriving back into the Midwest, you can see the slight chance for that right into Wisconsin. How about temperatures, though? I said cooler than normal. Into the weekend, we're approaching the 60 degree mark, but we're going to be falling behind that uh, big weather maker into Monday and Tuesday. The cool air really settling in behind that down into the 40s. And yes, below normal temperatures are expected. It looks like up until the end of the month, hopefully we start to get some warm weather here as we roll into November.